Uh, Schmitty, Schmitty, Schmitty. <laughs> if you're a woman and you're on TikTok, you've probably already ran into Liv Schmidt or at least somebody talking about Liv Schmidt. She's what many, but mostly she would refer to as a wellness influencer with fashion and beauty content sprinkled in there. I also think that she thinks she's funny. What the fuck is wrong with you? I want you to know how deep my love goes. So let's just say she is like a wellness, fitness, beauty, comedian, influencer. Now when I say wellness, you may be thinking of TikToks that promote getting plenty of fresh air, prioritizing mental and emotional health, incorporating spirituality in a balanced or intuitive way of thinking, and just overall trying to live your life in a healthy, sustainable way. And I feel like this is true across platforms. If you search up wellness on any single platform, there are a wide range of creators who will talk about at least one if not all of the topics that i just mentioned and for the most part they share a similar point of view when it comes to each individual topic for example most wellness influencers would never promote restrictive eating because they see it as promoting a behavior that causes more harm than good Liv schmidt on the other hand although she considers herself in the field of wellness based on some comments she herself has made i like to say she steps outside of the niche and brings her own values and personal life into the conversation when discussing anything around these topics her content typically gears toward weight loss precisely for people who work desk jobs that keep them rather stagnant. So I feel like a lot of people want to know what is Liv's true mindset and I don't know but I can summarize what her content is portraying it to be. So from what I understand Liv takes a brutally honest approach to giving weight loss advice on the internet. She has a ton of content on weight loss even kind of exposing other skinny influencers or skinny girls that she went to school with who are admired for their thinness stating that none of them eat whatever they want and they're really lying to you it needs to be studied like it needs to be studied so university of arizona has a bunch of super skinny girls and the super super skinny girls i absorb observed this there was a super super skinny group of girls and i was really good friends with them and i learned this from them they are food posers and what I mean by that is they are the girls who act like they order all this food and they eat so much and then they take two bites and are done or after they go out they order a bunch of Taco Bell, take two bites and are done or they forget that the food's there, they order this food and then they don't actually eat it. Liv, however, she's gonna tell you the cold hard truth. She's not gonna sugarcoat anything and this is what's gonna help you reach your goals. Sometimes this reminds me of any, what I like to call school of thought on social media because it's a slippery slope before a lot of things turn into cult-like pockets on the internet. Like there are already Liv stands the same way that there were so many fresh and fit stands in so many well i don't want to say so many just pearly things had her own little pocket of the internet as well that supported her and i know i love bringing these like alpha dudes and these um red pill people into the conversation a lot but it is because i still cannot believe how many people subscribe to these ridiculous beliefs i'm sure a lot of people also didn't believe that these people could have a legitimate audience just because of how outrageous some of their points were but even when other creators came out and would say that there were so many toxic things going on with these people's platforms there were stands and there were people out there who would bat for them and support them and say no this is wrong this person is actually doing a good thing for this platform and how did all of these people start out very similar to Liv Schmidt by telling people that they're gonna give them the cold hard truth that they're gonna tell them what other people are just too scared to say they're exposing the truth this is the same way that Liv thinks she's exposing the truth about weight loss no BS no sugar code next thing you know she'll be selling you guys a skinny mini course for $497 or she'll be inviting you guys on a skinny mini workshop for $2,000. Now, I'm not the only one who thinks that this content is a little bit weird. 
So many people have spoken out against Liv's content, claiming that it's a prime example of toxic diet culture. Now, a lot of these people have great points that they bring up, and you would think that Liv would be going after them, stitch up their content, and give her a point of view. And I think she's done that with a few people. But who Liv has the most issue with and who she has the most beef with is actually dietitians. I hate posting health related content due to one thing dietitian. No, same. I hate posting legal advice because of one thing, lawyers. I hate posting financial advice because of one thing, financial advisors. Now, this is what I found to be most problematic about Liv's page is the fact that she is so against dietitians coming to debunk some of the things that she says, which to me kind of proves that she actually doesn't want the best for her followers. And she is going about this in a very negative, narcissistic, and toxic way. This is more so about her than it is about anyone else. Otherwise, she would want you guys to be well-informed and well-educated. Or maybe it really is about being skinny no matter how unhealthy you go about it because she doesn't want healthcare professionals to tell you the truth. Now Liv isn't the only one on the internet to me who gives this kind of information that is easily debunked. She's not the only one on here giving advice on things that she isn't truly qualified to give advice on. Like she does talk about being certified. I think she says she's like some sort of certified lover boy certified pedophiles. Wah, 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 wah. Um wellness coach or something like that which is something that anybody can get online you don't really need any prerequisites a lot of the essential information that is needed for you to give really informed advice it's just not there when you get certified in the way that Liv is referring to and people have come out to say that now i find it very funny that she talks about how she can't stand how dietitians will insert themselves into conversations and let people know that hey this might actually not be the right thing for you to do this might actually slow down your metabolism and this is just not the right way to go because a lot of people carry this similar thought process when they're giving advice on the internet they don't want the actual professionals to come on there and say oh what you're saying is actually very harmful or what you're saying is actually just plain wrong now i have a feeling why live is having these issues and so many people who give faulty advice on the internet are coming to the point where they're having issues getting away with some of the things that they're saying. Accessibility or lack thereof used to make it so much easier for people to come on the internet and spread misinformation and it still does but now that so many people are not only going into their nine to fives but also coming on the internet to spread their knowledge with people it's getting more and more difficult to come out here and say whatever you want and for that we kind of have to thank the shitty economy it's basically forcing people to have to do something on the side and one of the most accessible side hustles is content creation and one of the easiest things that you can create content on is something that you're very knowledgeable about so no wonder lawyers and dietitians and architects and people of all sorts of professions are coming on the internet and saying oh this is actually not the right way to do this i have 10 plus years of experience and i'm here to tell you that what you're doing is kind of fucked up and kind of wrong or kind of stupid so now we have all these brilliant people on social media sharing their ideas with us through short and long form content stitches even just leaving a comment on your video to let you know that you may be misinformed and therefore spreading misinformation and this really bugs people i hate posting health related content due to one thing dietitian why can't I just pretend to be an expert and just have you blindly listen to me? This is especially frustrating for people who fit into those beauty standards that would normally get people to blindly listen to them. How many of us blindly took advice from the skinny girls in college just because they looked qualified to tell us how we should eat and exercise to look like them? Oh, that was just me? Oh, okay. Well, don't judge. And the crazy thing is in a lot of cases, I would say to ask someone who is where you want to be for advice. In most cases, you should be able to learn something from them. For something as delicate as our health, however, people work very hard to get accurate information that we can actually rely on and use to improve our health, even if the goal is weight loss. And how they look has little, if not nothing, to do with it. So when Liv says that she has a problem with dietitians because they seem to always have something to disprove of when it comes to her, I completely get it because because at this point, she's gotten used to the fact that people will simply listen to her just because she's skinny. Not realizing that the future effects of her behavior 
are yet to manifest. Also not taking the time to realize that she simply isn't qualified to be giving health advice to anyone. I'd even argue that anyone who puts thinness as their priority already has a skewed perception of well-rounded health and should heal before giving anyone advice. Trust me, I've been there. I used to restrict myself to half a slice of toast not a slice of toast half a slice of toast and one boiled egg every morning before i went to high school and yeah i did lose a lot of weight and that convinced people that i was qualified to be giving them advice when really i was very fucked up in the head what i was really doing was fucking up my metabolism and i gained all of the weight back plus more in the following three years we can talk about portion control but i realized when Liv refers to portion control she's really just referring to restriction this is really scary because many of the young girls who watch her videos videos are under the impression that what she's doing is healthy and that she isn't doing anything wrong. People just hate her for being honest. This couldn't be further from the truth. Even if Liv was completely and brutally honest, that's not why people hate her. I think people see Liv's content as undoing a lot of the mental emotional work that they've worked so hard for probably all their life. Now no one is responsible for your health mentally or physically and so we have to realize that following her is a choice and blocking her and prioritizing your health is also a choice that you can make you are the one who decides what to do so bitching about her content ruining your mental health there isn't much anyone can do about that but you now Liv does have her fair share of huge supporters as you could probably imagine although it appears that Liv has so many people against her she also has so many people who are willing to take her advice and even willing to bat for her when others criticize her content a lot of these creators will make videos supporting her opinions but if you're not blessed enough to see that type of shit on your algorithm if you just look up Liv Schmidt and you go to her comment section you will see that there are so many people who are supporting her in the comments saying things like i love you and your content thank you for being here my queen real life barbie right there they just envy you love your confidence and it makes you more beautiful someone even commented on her video one time lost two pounds this week thank you for your mindset hacks they truly helped me so much i have a hundred pounds to lose before i'm in a healthy weight range i'm sure lost total of 10 pounds so far yay you know so a lot of people really do support her and you would honestly be surprised now is there any truth to what Liv is saying i'm not saying by any means that anyone should like admire Liv schmidt or like follow what she does but i have just like one thing to say about like dieting or whatever i have a sister that grew up with celiac disease and if anyone doesn't know what that is it's basically gluten intolerance but like to the point of allergy where you know you can die if you get enough gluten in your system but the amount of people I see judge her when she's like, oh, like, is this gluten free? And are like, like you gluten snob and like act like she's like choosing to not want gluten. I know there's people who go gluten free out of choice, but like she literally was just born with like an intolerance to it. And I hate that people are like, oh, like she's dieting. Like, like even if she wasn't allergic to it, like it's okay to just want to eat healthier. Like I think there's a fine line between like starving yourself and just like making healthier choices. And like, I hate that people now like get judged if they like say no to an ice cream run because people are like, like she's trying to look like skinny. And it's like, well, yeah, like the only way to make yourself healthier is to make like healthier decisions on the daily. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm controversial. I mean, to be clear, this influencer is actually making some really valid points about how toxic it could be sometimes when you're just trying to make healthy choices or just doing the right thing for yourself, whether it is because you have an allergy or whatnot. And I do agree with a lot of what she is saying. I do think that bringing Liv Schmidt into the conversation is where she kind of lost me because I do feel like Liv Schmidt is putting an emphasis on being thin, not so much as she is putting an emphasis on being healthy and being a well-rounded, healthy individual. Yes, she's going for walks. Yes, she does have desserts every once in a while. Yes, she is balance i think the fact that it is so low of calories and there's such an emphasis on being skinny looking skinny i think that's where a lot of people are confused and they're not so much worried about the fact that she's telling the truth about certain things like yeah you do have to be in a caloric deficit duh sometimes when these content creators come forward and say that Liv is making sense they do make valid points but i don't really think that just because something is true means that it's not harmful for you like yes if you're in a caloric deficit and you're eating fairly low carb you might experience a lot of the results that Liv's followers are raving about receiving when they followed her advice 
but does that mean that it's still not harmful no it's not about there being truth to her advice reaching your goals by any means necessary is one of the most toxic things that has come about with social media like you should still try to reach your goals in a healthy way regardless of this whole hustle culture and this whole glow up culture and all of all of the pressure that is just put on us by social media is causing us to be like oh but did she lie though um, but are you going to die though? Like you're not going to be okay when you do this stuff. You might be skinny, but you will also not be okay. And there is a girl who comes out and talks about what it's like to use all these weight loss hacks simply to be skinny and the things that you experience from it. I didn't see my period for eight months at one point. Eight months because I didn't want to eat. Because I went to a school where girls had Tumblr pictures of skinny girls as their wallpaper. Now, is that their fault that I that I did things the unhealthy way? No, it's not their fault. But I was still influenced by that toxic mindset that skinny is over everything. Skinny is over being able to run a mile. Skinny is over getting winded for every little thing you do. Skinny comes over having to have a fun dinner with your family. All of these things are experiences in life that you should be able to do, especially when you're a young person in your 20s. You should not, you should not, sorry, I just hit the mic. You should not be winded going up a flight of stairs. And that's what's gonna happen if you don't eat. You're not gonna be able to do regular, regular things in life. So yes, will your goals be accomplished if you follow what Liv Schmidt is saying? Probably, cause she doesn't eat. Um, I'm gonna show you a slideshow of what she eats. This is not enough food for somebody in their 20s. It is enough food maybe to sustain that skinny frame that she has, but it's not enough food for you to like be energetic, mentally sound, and all of that. And I don't care what anybody says. So I know I'm probably going to get some hate from the live stands in my comment section. That is fine. But I think I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I do have to go to work. I really need to stop filming so late because then I have to like rush out the door. And sometimes I have more to say, but... I just can't get it out fast enough. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, a comment, let me know your opinions on this topic. If you guys have read into her content before, definitely subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.